sorry. There was some really loud hiss. I'm just too scared to really go look and investigate. First try! Oh! Okay. I literally thought what? I was missed, so I took my blindfold off. You gotta redo it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the behind the scenes for our 50 ways to score a half court shot video. Stay until the end if you wanna see me get threatened by an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. First, I'm gonna talk about actually making the video, which was a lot more difficult than we thought. Since we filmed the entire video on a trip to Florida, we had a pretty tight schedule. We were at the park probably about four to six hours a day making these trick shots and still almost didn't finish by the time we left. One of the hardest trick shots we made was the exercise ball shot, and that was actually very difficult because we ordered the exercise ball online, opened it in Florida, only to realize that it was a weighted exercise ball, so it was very heavy to carry. Second is the behind the back shot. I don't know how Matthew does it. He has this really weird technique of chucking basketballs behind his back. I tried it and I just can't even get close to the hoop like he could. <laughs> I dare you to replicate that. My arm hurts kind of bad. It's not a comfortable thing to do. Another difficult one was the collision in midair. It's so unpredictable. I actually didn't think we were gonna score it and I was ready to give up. Yeah! No! Yes. That was crazy. Who got the assists on that one, me or Tommy? Wait, technically I scored it. So if you've been following our channel for like five years, you could remember possibly the tennis court chipper. This is the tennis court chipper. We brought that back into this video. That was lefty too. You guys are gonna be very surprised to hear which one was actually the hardest, and that was the bounce shot. I know, you're probably like, that didn't look too hard. And it wasn't really, I guess. I just got super unlucky, and I literally hit the rim 50 times before it went in. And keep in mind that every time I attempted the shot, I was jumping and basically using all my strength to throw the ball at the ground and get it to the hoop. Yes. No. So two hours later, I'm still trying this shot, and I am super sore, I could barely even stand at that point. That was the best shot in the video, believe it or not. Don't underestimate that shot, like I say. Don't underestimate it. I didn't oh. film. I didn't film that. Check out my arms. Look at this bird. basketball. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Dude. This bird, we've heard from someone around here that it's a vicious attacking bird. Just went onto our court. We somehow managed to score all 50 half-court shots by the end of the trip. However, we decided to redo one where I stood on a ladder because you couldn't actually see the ladder in the video. The only problem was it was 10 o'clock at night and we were leaving at 5.30 in the morning the next day. We still had a ton of stuff to pack so we had barely any time to actually make a trick shot. So my dad and I arrived to the park. We're the only ones there. We set up the ladder. I try to score the shot as quickly as I can, miss a few times. One of my shots goes up, air balls, and falls into these bushes behind the basketball hoop. 
So I'm going to run to get the ball, and my dad stops the camera, and this is where it all happens. It's really dark behind the basketball hoop, so I can't see much. And I go bend over to pick up the ball, and as I'm bending over, I hear this really loud noise coming from within a few feet of me. And I'm not kidding when I say it was about probably this close. That's what it sounded like. I don't know for sure because I didn't see it. I thought it was a bug in the bush next to me. And I was bent over, so it was like this far away from my head, honestly. And my dad, who's all the way at half court, could hear the noise, and he was way back from where it actually was. So I grab the ball, and I leave, and I get to back to half court, and the sound stops. My dad says, did you hear that noise? And I said, yeah, I thought it was a really loud bug. He thought it was the sprinkler system turning on, but there were no sprinklers over there. That was not just a really loud bug. We both agreed that I just shouldn't airball the trick shot. Literally just hit the backboard of the rim every time, and guess what I do? I literally airball the next shot, but it bounces off the pole, and thankfully bounces back so I don't have to go to the bushes again. So I grab the ball, make the shot a few tries later, and again, the pole Yay! saves me from having to run back into those bushes. We're ready to leave, but I said, okay, for our second channel, let's go out and film these bushes. So this is the video we filmed. We came out here to the basketball court late at night, like 10 o'clock. I shot an air ball, the ball went over into these bushes. There was some really loud hiss, and I have no idea what it was. Alligator, snake, who knows? I'm just too scared to really go look and investigate. After that video, we looked around the bushes for about 30 more seconds, but we didn't see anything because it was very dark. We decided to leave because we had to go pack and leave the next day. As we got back to our place we were staying, I looked up what are the most common snakes in Florida. And the first option shown was the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. So then I looked up what is the sound of an Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, and it sounded exactly like the sound that I heard coming from within a few feet of where I was. And it honestly gave me goosebumps when I learned that that was the sound it was. And the video that I watched that most matches the sound that I heard was when someone picked up a rattlesnake and it was very angry. Keep in mind, this is the most venomous snake in the United States. Then I decided to check the video that I filmed. I'm not making this up. I noticed what looks like it could be an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake behind me. You guys have to comment below and tell me what you think because it's too blurry to really know for sure. Moral of the story, do not go into the bushes in Florida at night. 